What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Roll the Tape. And we're here talking about another film from the Filipino Philippinex um, American History Month Independent Filmmaker Showcase. Uh, and the short film that we're going to be talking about today is When You Left Me on the Boulevard. Uh, and this film is by Kayla Abuda Galang. And this film is so, like nostalgic to the like 2000s experience and like when i tell you that like this just brought me back in a time capsule the like i couldn't help but just feel so um i don't know just like caught up in my past in a way um but the production design of this film let me tell you so intentional like a lot of things about this film are just so so intentional and this film was actually at sundance as well as uh for 2023 and won the short films uh yeah uh in the short film section this this uh film won uh so like this film is really really cool um because you can tell how intentional the uh, the director Kayla was about a lot of her decisions um, when it comes to the production design when it comes to the composition of shots when it comes to a lot of these like creative like editing choices as well um, and uh, and the acting as well like so 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 good um, it, it brought me back to just like also feeling like I'm like at home at a party with my family and just celebrating with them. Like I felt like I was part of the party while I was watching the film. And the reason why is because like the shots that were chosen as well as just like the production design being so real, um, it just felt like I was just like there, especially on the big screen, it just felt like I was there in the living room with them um, experiencing all of this. Um, yeah, and like, I mean, when you see some of the technology too that's just such a throwback and it just like yo i felt so aged i felt so aged um <laughs> a little bit watching this film uh because it's like you don't think that much time has passed but <laughs> a lot of time has passed you know since these things about like 20 years you know so uh that was a bit of like a throwback for me that like made me feel like damn yo i'm old so <laughs> or i'm getting old um but uh but yeah this film is so touching because it's just like a, a beautiful like slice of life movie um like slice of life kind of like romance just figuring life out movie and uh it does a good job of just like entertaining you with like no real uh beginning or end in a way um, and you just coming into this person's life and experiencing one of their days um, and feeling so included, so apart and so invested in their story about like the situation ship that, you know, she has, but also like, you know, just experiencing uh, what it's like spending time with your family members. Um, and the environmental shots as well were so, so good like i couldn't help but chuckle a little bit when i saw some of them because i was just like yeah i've seen that before like that's you know those are my that's my dad and my uncles you know or like oh yeah that's my titas and my mom or like you know that's me and my cousins hanging out so um it just felt so relatable and so real and i loved the chance i got to see that on the big screen because it was just like I said, the time capsule and, you know, I, I live out here by myself in, in LA and, you know, I, I miss my family a lot. So this film made me like, just be like, damn, like it brought back a lot of good memories for me. So, um, yeah, uh, I would highly recommend to watch this if it's playing in a film festival near you. Uh, when you left me on the boulevard, phenomenal film, go check it out. Um, and yeah. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. And remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Really appreciate y'all. And uh, that's it for me. Peace. See you next time. <laughs>